Marco, we got a problem. Can you knock? No, please open the door. Marco, we got a problem. Marco, we got a problem. Marco, we got a problem. Put on a shirt. <laughs> okay. All right, now that you're decent, you ready for the problem? What? All of our previous footage is no good. Okay. It has too much echo and it's not centered. So you mean we don't have microphones for it? Well, yeah, but I'm talking about all the footage from the warehouse, from the shop is all terrible. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to re-record everything. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. So we're not going to re-record everything. We're just going to go ahead and s summarize. We're just going to summarize what we did and show you the car. Okay? Okay. <sighs> and it's wet, raining. I shouldn't bring the camera out here. But we're going anyways. So there's my car. No, it's not a 2002. It's a 2001. And it's sexy to me. It's got that beautiful blue. And it's got different color body panels because those are the ones that were damaged. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and wrap this up in the rain because it's it's bad. It's bad over here. So it's bad for the camera, anyways. Alright, so anyways, this is it. This is the car we found on Craigslist for 800 bucks right after we made that video. Right after, right after we made that video about how we were gonna build the other Lexus that we're gonna put a road chassis and all that so no autofocus what can you do he's got the photography lens on the camera right now so I can't do anything but just work with what I got so anyways so far what we've done with the car is we've changed the water pump everything all the water pump components we changed the serpentine belt found a couple of ignition problems it had misfire um, we fixed that now we have a catalyst problem so we're gonna try a couple tricks I found on YouTube and I'll be able to record that and show you guys uh, see if it works or not but um, I just wanted to make this quick little video because I am three weeks behind and that's not good and so far I've been so busy with work and then as you can see the weather has not allowed me to do anything I also have a sunroof leak on this car and it sucks because the interior that Michael swapped out the, be the ugly beige interior he put in his nice black interior they, that we had in the shop. Now the passenger seat has mold on it and that's not cool. So now I have to take it all apart and I have to pressure wash it and everything. So I'll have to show you how that is going to go. But so far, it's running pretty decently. Let's try to get a wider shot. Can't really do much when I'm right next to the house. So, but yeah, um, I did get a timing, a uh, timing. Uh, I got a cam gear for it, adjustable cam gear from NST. I'm gonna be ordering the uh, other pulley set, but that's gonna be later on. Um, for now, I wanna try to fix the main issue, which is the catalyst, see if I can fix that. And I know I'm, later on I'm gonna go probably full exhaust. And then I gotta change the strut on the passenger front, right there, passenger front. That's the side I gotta change, cause the whole car is like leaning. It's not that noticeable, but if you're like staring right at it, you can notice it. When you drive, you can feel it pull a little bit to the right, but it's nothing too big. So, but that's pretty much it. It's a short, quick little video. Um, I'll try and see if I can get my own T3i or something like that. Because recording with this is so much easier. For some reason, my iPhone, with all the freaking updates, it's messed up my camera. I can't really record right. All the footage I, I convert, it ends up upside down. So that's the other reason why I'm so far behind. So I'm gonna have to try to find me a professional camera because this, this feels a lot better. It does. In the middle of editing, Michael came over my shoulder and saw the footage and he was like, it's not that bad, go ahead, make a time lapse and just throw it in the video. So, here we go, here's the time lapse in the video. Hope you enjoy. What's up guys, Talek here. As you can see behind me, I don't know if you can see behind me, but we got Alan McKnight in the back. It's a collab video today. So, what we got here today, my Lexus. Yeah, I know I showed y'all in the other video, the wrecked one on a trailer sitting in this very spot. Well, Michael found me a very good deal. Got this Lexus here for $800. Runs, drives, just needs a water pump. Registration's still good. Titles rebuild salvage. I mean, what do you expect for $800? I already got 
the surfing team belt, the water pump kit, and I got all these body pieces to fix all the damage. So, what you're gonna see today is us put a little bit of something something together and get this car running tonight. What the hell of Alan? So, if you don't already know, like I said, it's a collab video with Alan the name. Check up his name. I'll have a link in the description below. So you can check it out. He has very good videos. He has videos of his Miata build uh, with Solo Dolo and his slide hose uh, company. So you might want to check that out because he's got some pretty good videos. So let's go ahead and get into it. With someone you are with someone you are Don't lose it. Don't lose instructions. And then, timing belt. Okay. This did not come with it. It's a serpentine belt. I decided to do it while I'm doing the timing belt just to knock it all out together. Thermostat did not come with that attached belt. Alright, so it comes with the water pump. I'm going to take out the bag. Brand new water pump. Good teeth. Make sure it turns. Mind you, you're using your stock pulley. You gotta use your stock pulley, yeah. All right, 
They give you new studs for the pulleys if you break them or if for some reason you need new ones, they give you extras. Then you got the tensioner, time belt tensioner. You got the seal for the water pump. And then I feel bad because I don't really know the name of this part. But we know where it is. But it's literally like right on, it goes like about right here. I could be doing it wrong, but anyways, I'll show you how to put it. I'll show you once I'm done how it all goes. And then they give you a nice neat little sticker you can put on your hood to remind you when you did your time belt. Or if you ever sell it. So they'll know when it's been done. Alright. And then I bought the fuel door spring because when I go and try to pop my fuel door, it doesn't work. It's alright, don't worry about it. New things are better anyways. And it comes with all this bone wrap. But I can't I can't pop it though. That's weird. And I just like Alright, right. Right, well, we'll get back to work. That's all the parts. Hey, what's up guys? So, um, Christian right now is going to go get keys for the tractor. Um, but pretty much what I'm going to be doing while he's gone is working on the interior of the car. So, uh, I'm going to be filming myself doing that. And uh, pretty much right now we're doing an interior swap on the from a beige to a black. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on that right now. So. So right now, as you can see, this is the beige interior. Um, we're not gonna be swapping these door panels right now. Um, we're gonna be doing that later because right now we don't have all the door panels for it, so we're gonna be doing that later, plus we don't know how to do that. Um, I've already swapped the, as you can see, I, can, I already swapped the beige flooring to the uh, black flooring. The beige flooring is right about here. And um, so pretty much the rest of what, what I'm gonna be doing while Christian is gone, is I'm going to be, see that bottom part of the dash right there, I'm going to be swapping that out, the bottom part of beige to black while he's gone. And then as soon as I do that, I'm going to finish swapping the back seats out into the black, uh, putting the black, the black seats on. And then I'm going to put the front seats in, which are right over here. You can see right here, this is where the black seats currently are sitting. And um, yeah. What's up everybody? Today is day two of the Lexus build. Um, forgot to close it out yesterday. We were going on to like two to three in the morning. And well, it was two, three in the morning. So yeah, so we had to stop. So, so far what we got done, and again, I do apologize. I can't show you guys step by step on how I'm getting all this stuff done. But so far, we got the new water pump in, time belt in, made sure everything's on time, put the servicing belt back on the right way, and pretty much all I got to do now is just put the condenser and the radiator back in. What's uh, what's next on the list is I got to take out obviously the motor oil, take out the trans fluid and the diff fluid. I got all those fluids. So I get this car up and running because I do not know the type of condition it's in. So, so far just going around, you know, the car, seeing what we got done. Michael's got all these interior pieces hooking out, which is real good because we're swapping it all to black interior. We're leaving some parts gutted, some parts black, like black carpet. We're going to put the bottom seat here, but he's got to finish getting the black seat belt buckles. He's got the black portion of the trunk, the shelf up there and the seat back here it looks so much cleaner um, right there we're gonna leave for now we're gonna leave the headliner off and we're gonna leave this portions of the pillars we're gonna leave them off too for a while the door panels are gonna stay tan for for now um, I do want to go ahead and get a aluminum an aluminum uh, aluminum sheet um, door panels but I gotta see if I gotta custom make them or if I can have somebody custom make them, or if it'd be a whole lot easier and somebody just orders them. I mean, not orders them, but uh, they can be ordered and they can be delivered to me. So, so far, Michael's trying to take apart the dash. Um, Lexus is a very good quality vehicle. And uh, this little trim piece right here that's tan and this piece is black, it's all just one piece. One piece with the entire dash. On the other car, it's got a busted airbag, so we're gonna transfer this airbag to the other one, which can be done. Um, but for now, Michael, what do you think? Uh. 
Is it worth ch changing uh, black uh, tan interior to tan? I mean, tan interior to black? Yeah, I mean, the tan doesn't really look that good. Yeah, the tan looks like crap. This piece is ripped off, so I'm gonna have to replace it anyways. Yeah, pull it again. It's all broken right there with the key ring goes, the key goes, all these pieces. So yeah, with the headliner gone. It's starting to look, in my eyes, it's starting to look better than what it was. Cause that tan, that tan carpet looks hideous. Here, I didn't even get to show you guys the seats. These are the seats out of it right now. This was the driver's seat, this one right here. This right here was the driver's seat. It is black, that is not, that's some of it's my shadow, but I'm gonna try to get out the way. Michael, put the other light, please. Put the other light. So, that right there, oh, wow, well, now I got more shadow. Okay, it's all good. So this is the headliner. The headliner was pretty decent, but the seat, there's no shadowing on it. That's literally how black it is. I just really wanted to show you. It's all torn up right there. And so we got this bumper right here. This was the first bumper from the gray Lexus on his first minor accident. And um, it cracked right there and had a dent. That's the bumper we're gonna be using compared to mine where it's all chopped up from here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drill the holes and zip tie this back together, push this dent out. Um, it's plastic, so it'll it'll move. Um, this is the beautiful spare engine, the 2J. Um, you guys saw that I press washed in the beginning of the video. Um, uh, it also came with the trans, of course the head and everything's over there. There's the fender that's gonna be going right there. We just gotta pull the the that crashed on for a little bit and then this is the bumper off the black Lexus. so we got a lot of different parts um from three from two to three different lexuses and um mainly it's just because um it's just it's just we found good deals and when you have like that many cars that are the same you can really get it down oh my gosh look at that sky doesn't it look amazing here let me just show y'all just look at that sky out here Wide open air. Yeah, oh, man. A person can really breathe out here. Hey, look. Hey, Kaboom, there's the axe runner. Oh, don't worry, she's not really under that trailer. But, um, yeah. So the whole reason why I'm doing the whole Lexus build is because the axe runner is missing fifth and sixth gear. I believe the shift, uh, the shift fork broke. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, take the transmission down. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do an R154 swap. I found the plate. I gotta get the bell housing for my automatic Tacoma, uh, cause that's the way it works. Then I gotta figure out how to engineer a, a clutch release system for that for that bell housing. And then this truck will go from a six speed to a five speed. And a lot of people are probably not gonna like that. I, I didn't like that idea at first, cause I was losing a gear. But in reality, that R154 is from the Supra, and it, it does pretty good. A lot of people I've heard on YouTube complain that it's like a truck transmission, but thinking that this is an X runner it's a truck well if they say it's a truck transmission why not put it in if it's robust and it's strong and it's hard to break why not because this ASIN RA60 six speed is not doing anyone any good a lot of people have problems and there's only select few that have uh, no problems whatsoever they're like oh well, mine has so many miles and I don't have any problems well you got the good one congratulations but there's too many out there that have been flawed and I just Way too many problems with cheap sh synchros and and all that stuff. I mean, this this is so far the progress. The progress with the car. Um, I finally got some free time. I came back to get get some work done. That's like I just got here, so that's why you see all this stuff here. The four wheeler here, the trailer here, the tractor over there. Uh, about to move all this stuff out. I'm gonna start putting some stuff together, and um, I'll re-update you guys because we're trying to we're trying to move quickly. Um, these are all the old parts and stuff like that. I mean, that color is just phenomenal. I love that color, but that fender is just all wrecked up on the front. See, it was like beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. And then, da da da. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so, quick little update. I've got the radiator back in. I don't know. I mean, I've got mostly the front end back in, back together. So, it's coming along real good. I 
found the, my replacement tensioner that I had hiding around. I forgot all about it, so I had to take the radio back out and replace this. Got it back on, good to go. I got the oil drain, I changed the filter, put a purulator in there. Um, I was checking the spark plugs because I had checked the engine, because I had the check engine light, and it had said that it had um, a cylinder four misfire and a random misfire. And um, turns out it was this clip right here. It's for the, um, let me see, let me focus that out for you. It's for the uh, ignition coil. And when you change the spark plugs, you gotta pop them out. So I guess the last person who did this, or the last shop that did this, broke these clips. So when I take them off, um, they basically fall apart. So this one right here, the one in the middle was the worst one. And I had to run to the store and they only had one and I was only able to buy that one. So when you do this, you gotta take the oil body off. The little gasket, the rubber gasket that's reusable. And so that's for that's pretty much the update um, on the motor and everything up front. I oh, still love that color. I'm currently draining the transmission fluid. I'm gonna change the strainer, which you also known as the filter for the transmission. I've got all the fluid right there. Then the last step I'm gonna do is changing the diff fluid. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do one more update. All right, so the update on the interior. <clears throat> Michael has almost mainly the, the car put back together. He's got the rear seats together. Passenger seat in, <clears throat> that centerpiece in. Uh, he's replaced the gauge cluster trim with that one on the other car because it, it was broken. Basically, you see that one right there. That was the other one. It was all broken. Uh, Change the couple parts here and there. Right now, he's working on the sunroof uh, switch. <clears throat> yeah, I know, drift car, why do you want the sunroof to work? You should just put an aluminum sheet, but that'll be later on. Right now, I want to enjoy the car to its full potential and what I believe so until then that, that, that was a long video I'm not gonna lie all my other videos are number like three minutes five minutes but this one 20 minute video, man, that hit the mark. Well, appreciate you guys riding along with me and seeing how, how long it took me to get this car up and running without it overheating or anything like that. And yeah, it was a very lengthy process. It took us two days. And uh, that second day, we pulled an all-nighter. We said, screw it, we're not leaving till it's done. And we finished it. So yeah, pretty, pretty excited, man. It's, this is gonna be good, 2018 with this car. It's gonna be real good, so I wanna appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see y'all later. That smoke is just because it's cold. <laughs>